Good evening. Nine News has learned a Douglas man has filed a $1 million claim against the city of Douglas and the Douglas Police Department. The man claims he was repeatedly beaten and slapped around while tied to a chair following his arrest. Laura Castaneda spoke to the man's family who witnessed the arrest and a videotape showing the alleged beating. She joins us now with more. Laura? Budding Guy, rumors about the alleged beating have been surfacing in Douglas for about the past four months. Today, those rumors turned into formal allegations when 18-year-old Pablo Carrasco filed a million-dollar claim against the city of Douglas, its police department, and five of its officers. This is the family's account of what happened on December 4, 1990. About 7 o'clock in the evening, 18-year-old Pablo Carrasco fled from the scene of a hit-and-run accident near his home. When Carrasco pulled into the alley behind his house, he was confronted and questioned by a police officer who followed him. The family says Pablo and the officer got into a shouting match that escalated into a struggle. Pablo's father, Tito, and a neighbor looked on. Within minutes, three other officers arrived at the scene. Pablo Carrasco was arrested, handcuffed, and charged with criminal damage, resisting arrest, and aggravated assault on a police officer. He was taken into the Douglas Police Department for booking. Pablo was uh, restrained into a chair by handcuffs and by, with his hands and his uh, feet being tied to the legs of the chair, and then he was uh, slapped and struck uh, several times by the police officers. Pablo's parents say they were not allowed to see their son until the following day. He had a little, uh, a little nick right here and, uh, mm -hmm. and, and down here, okay. and up here on top, he had some uh, dry blood. The parents were permitted to view a videotape of the questioning of their son but only after agreeing to identify a witness who had been supplying information to the family. And the policeman that's on his left hand side, he, he hit him in the face, you know, like this. And, and the other policeman that's on his right hand side, he jumped on him and, and, uh, and, uh, and he, uh, he was punching him. But an 11 page police report tells a different story. It says Mr. Carrasco was violent and verbally threatening during the entire time at the Douglas Police Department. There was little reaction today when officers were served with the million dollar claim. Chief Charlie Austin would only say two of the officers allegedly involved were not present or on duty during the incident. Austin says the FBI is looking into the matter. Therefore, I'm really not free to respond. If I were free to respond, however, I can assure you that there is a very different side to the story. Pablo Carrasco remains in custody at the Arizona State Prison in Florence, where he is serving a four-month sentence. And budding guy, we did request a copy of the tape in question from the FBI. They declined, saying that the investigation is ongoing, and until until that investigation is complete, they will not release the tape. Laura Castaneda, thank you.